everyone so today we are going to be doing a pro standard tutorial on this type of card layout we are just gonna go ahead and get started Okay, so really quickly for the music player as usual, um, there will be a link in the description to the website I use to download my songs and then I use Dropbox to upload and copy and paste the link into the music player and for this one specifically, if I can copy the code, there we go, 
outside of the link you are just going to want to change the colors of the gradient which you can do in this section right here as well as the drop shadow if you want to change that to your liking i am just going to copy the code from my reference card with the color already changed and the correct song song link which is going to be right here and it's really important that you make sure the the first script tags box is unticked otherwise the music player will have trouble playing your song
for the cursor, there will be a link in the description to the website with the code, but just for the sake of time, I'm going to copy my already edited code from the reference card. Uh, the cursor is obviously optional, it's mainly just for aesthetic purposes, but you are going to want to change the colors of the little fireworks explosions here. You can do that here, just make sure that you don't delete any of the commas or the little quotation marks. And as for the code itself, it is a very long and lengthy code with lots of positioning and lots of media rule for the positioning on mobile devices. So depending on how your device differs from mine, um, positioning and whatnot may need to be adjusted, especially if you're using vastly different images than the ones I use. But please, if you need any help whatsoever, just send me a DM, a retro spring, a comment, and I will be happy to assist. Some things you might want to change, though, are for the marks, which is the highlights. So, like, about, loves, find me, like, the colors, which anywhere where it says mark in the code, you can change the color there. Just little things like that. Everything should mostly already be done for you. And you just need to adjust it depending on your advice uh sorry your device pictures colors you want to use but yeah again please let me know if you need help or codes aren't working for you and that's pretty much it Alrighty, and here is what your final result should look like as usual if you need any help or have any questions please feel free to let me know down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next tutorial bye bye